Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our third example in our practice series on solving for a competitive equilibrium. In this video, we're going to consider the case of quasi-linear preferences and just some regular Cobb-Douglas sort of preferences. Let's go. So let's consider the case where we have two consumers and two goods. Uh, for consumer A, we're going to have uh, quasi-linear preferences with lawn A plus Y. And for consumer B, he's going to have XB times YB. The size of our economy as determined by our resource constraint is that there's going to be three of good X and three of good Y. And the initial endowments is where consumer A has all of good X and consumer B has all of good Y. So step number one for solving this problem is that we're going to go and write our consumer's budget constraints as follows. We note that we can set uh, the price of good y equal to one or really just any one of our goods to one in this case we're going to use the good y and for the price of good x that's going to be equal to p step number two is that we're going to use the optimality conditions for each one of our consumers and solve for the intermediate demands uh, this is where our marginal rate of substitution is going to be equal to px and py um, so for consumer A, uh, we find that this is just going to be XA is equal to 1 all over P. And from consumer B's perspective, right, so using that optimality condition, we find that intermediate demand is YB hat is equal to XB times P. Now note, uh, in this optimality condition, we've actually derived one of our demand equations, proper demand equations. Uh, so it for X A, it does not depend on income, and we can say that for sure. And that's just a property of quasi-linear preferences in general. Uh, step number three is that using the budget constraint and initial endowments and intermediate demands, we're going to solve for the demand equations. So for consumer A, uh, it's pretty simple. We just go and plug in uh, the values. So for X A, we're going to put in one all over P. And we have a P already there, so that's just going to go knock out each other. So we just have 1 plus YA is equal to 3P, right? 3 coming from our initial endowment. This goes and gives our demand equation for uh, YA is being equal to 3P minus 1. For consumer B, um, what we're going to get is that we're going to first sub in our endowments and our intermediate demands. And with a little bit of algebra, we solve for XB is equal to 3 all over 2P. That's the Marshallian demand there. We take that result and then we sub it into our intermediate demand for YB. And we find that YB is just equal to 3 all over 2. Step number four is that we're going to use the resource constraint to go and define prices. So you can either use uh, the resource constraint for X and the resource constraint for Y. In this case, I'm just going to use the resource constraint for Y. Uh, just change things up a little bit and uh, we go and we find by just plugging in our Marshallian demands uh, we go and we derive this price here where P is equal to 2.5 all over 3. Step number five is that we're going to define our competitive equilibrium. I'm writing our competitive equilibrium like this and that's just going to go and say that consumer A is going to have 1.2 of good X and 1.5 of good Y and consumer B is going to have 1.8 of good X and 1.5 of good Y and that's going to be supported by the price or that allocation is going to be supported by the price that's how you're really supposed to say it 2.5 all over 3. So this is another example on solving for competitive equilibrium in an exchange economy. I hope this video helps. Take care.